Tempest, my favorite classic arcade game from 1980. Unfortunately, this game was meant to be played with a spinning knob. Buttons don't work. You do need to be fast, yet precise enough to shoot all those enemies. Sliding a mouse around kinda works, but doesn't give you the same experience. I wondered, what if I could reinvent the classic Atari paddle controller by sticking a knob to an optical mouse? And it looks like it works pretty well! You can certainly buy your own paddle controller or build one for an Arduino, but this 3D printed attachment will keep things cheap and simple using stuff that I already have. Besides a 3D printer and a mouse, you will also need hot glue, a few neodymium magnets, and a lighter. I made this model based off of Jay Tritel's replacement knob for the original Atari paddle controller. All I needed to do was to make some slight modifications to accept a magnet instead of a rotary encoder and release it under the same license. I decided to add my own personal touch of tape. Then I sanded it down to remove the excess and to smooth out the surfaces. Next is to install the magnet with some hot glue. Give it a spin to test. If it's not well balanced, reheat the glue with a lighter and adjust. Now to install the magnets inside the mouse. There should be just enough space under the circuit board to fit your magnets. Otherwise, you'll need to find some smaller ones. I already glued in two magnets, so I just need to add two more. You will need four magnets in total, one directly above, below, left, and right of the lens. That way, you can pick any of the four ways to control the mouse. Fine adjustments can be made by melting the glue for lighter and moving it around with another magnet. Just be extra careful not to melt in the plastic. Now to reassemble this modified mouse. Tuck in this cable. Put the cover back on. Tighten the screw and blast off. So, besides playing old stuff like Pong or Tempest, what else is this good for? There are a few modern games that still use rotary encoders, like driving or racing simulators. Games like Sound Voltex or K-Shoot Mania require two knobs, so let's make another and jump ahead 30 years. Apparently, I'm not very good at this, or at any Japanese rhythm games, but I do think that these knobs work pretty well. All the SCAD and SDL files can be found on my GitHub. Just download, print, install the magnets, and have fun!